Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood Mandy here, and today we are going to be delving deeper into Windows batch scripting. So, if you watched my last tutorial, you should know how to make batch files, not check it out. But today we are going to be learning about variables. So if you remember back to high school math class, variables are pretty much, well they store values and these values can change and be used in your program. So let's jump right in. So to set a variable, or initialize one, we set, space, then var name. So I'm going to name my variable just x, very generic, equal to, and now here there's two types of variables. So they're basically just things I'm going to stick with are numbers and strings, or integers and strings, as they're preferred to be called in most programming language. So strings are just words, so like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog or stuff like that. Numbers are plain numbers or integers are just plain numbers like one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna first demonstrate the use of strings, so this is a string. Now make sure there is no white space between here. Most programming language will allow white space here, but not batch scripting. So just something to keep in mind. It's not going to produce an error, but it's a lot easier to use. So now we actually have our variable set to something, we have to be able to return it. So we want to display this variable out to the user using the echo command. The echo just prints stuff out. Now to print this variable out to the user, so we want to print out this is a string. We echo percent %x% percent whatever you have for your variable right here. Whenever you're working with variables and stuff, you want to encase them in parentheses. Was not parentheses, percentage signs, that's what I mean. And finally, we want to go to new line and pause so we can read what we've written out. So we're going to save this, open this up, and this is a strings printed out, so everything's working correctly. And if I can find this, there we go. So I can change this to whatever you want, but you know. Um, another thing I want to show you is numbers. So you can use you can run math operations on numbers like addition, subtraction, multiplication, that sort of thing. So set x equal to 2. Now here we want to write something slash a space. So this is a flag that says, hey, this is a number. I want you to be able to multiply, divide, and do all that crazy math stuff with this. But to be able to do that stuff, we need to have another variable. So set slash a, set y equal to 3. Finally, I'm going to set slash a z equal to percent x percent, so we're going to get 2 plus percent y percent. So we're going to take the value of 2 plus 3, which is 5, so we're going to set the variable z to 5. So whenever we reference z, we're going to get 5. So I'm going to change this to z here, save it, and we have 5 printed out. Now I can also do things like subtract, so minus negative 1, multiplication, 6, and division, no, let's save this, here we go, 0, 0, it's not 0, oh yeah, I guess batch files, they can't really handle floating point numbers, so you're going to get a whole number every time. I wonder if it actually does modulus, hold on, no, never mind, modulus is, you can look it up, they're useful in a lot of other programming language, but batch files are not advanced enough to include these. So other than that, just, that's going to be pretty much all for today, just remember, in referencing variables, make sure to encase them in percents, if you want to run math operations on variables, use the a flag, so slash a before your variable name. Make sure you don't have any white space in between here. Um, I could show you how to incorporate that, but it's just a lot easier without it. And finally, remember strings and numbers are two different types of variables. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.